happening in Wisconsin. The polls open in just nine hours. We have team coverage of this historic election. Annie Scholes is with the Barrett campaign. But we're going to begin with Charles Benson, who is with Governor Walker. Charles. Governor Walker getting ready to speak here at Serb Hall at any minute right now. Governor not taking any chances with this unprecedented and unpredictable recall election. He's out there working for every last minute vote. Our secret weapon's the truth. Governor Walker's trying to close the deal with voters all over Wisconsin. He campaigned in La Crosse with Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish, telling voters his reforms are working. I think the message that will come out tomorrow if we're able to prevail is that you can take on the tough issues. After stops in Stevens Point and Eau Claire, it was on to Green Bay. We don't want to go backwards. We want to go forward. <laughs> Brown County is also turning into an important battleground county for the governor. He's here today, campaigned here Saturday and Sunday, and will be back here tomorrow on Election Day. Hey, buddy, hurry up. High five. Walker worked the line, shaking hands and signing autographs with voters, hoping they will line up for him on Tuesday. Our budgets took a $3.6 billion budget deficit a year and a half ago and turned it into a $154 million budget surplus. That's what leadership's all about. And as you can tell from behind me, the governor has arrived here. He plans the campaign tomorrow after voting early in the morning. Mike and Carol. Charles, you've been covering this campaign for months. Do they have any regrets? At this point, the governor says he has no regrets about the policies he has put in place, but he does admit that the process could have been different, how everything unfolded. He plans to work on that if he wins this recall. On your side, live at Serb Hall, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Charles, thank you very much.